but for Zhang Gander winning the international championship, he would have been seeded. Again, played a lovely little cannon there just to hold the cue ball, open up the other reds as well. But he could have played that one nicer. He's landed a little bit low on the black, so he's going to have to play a nippy little screw just to hold. Possibly just try and drift up past the two reds. Maybe just glance off them. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Well, of course, he has got literally hundreds of millions of fans in China and elsewhere, and they will be delighted to see him. I think it enhances the event, and absolutely nothing against Robbie Williams, but... It enhances any tournament for Ding Junhui to be in the draw. Three times champion, runner-up last year, having to qualify this year. Remember the year he had to qualify for the Crucible the first time he got to the final, 2016, to play Mark Selby. So he's a danger man when he doesn't have maybe that pressure of being the seed. Yeah, and we, we often talk about all the talent that's coming from China. And there is, there's plenty of it. But this guy, this man is just the king still. He is just next level when he's in this kind of form. He's going to take some stopping at York. He loves the event. He thrives off it. Well, he's going to be the first qualifier in the first session of Judgment Day. He's very nearly, of course, the last man standing last year. He won the six Reds World Championship last season. Otherwise, there weren't any trophies, but 64. we know if he plays his best, he can win anything. This is a victory lap now for Ding. Be relieved because Robbie Williams was coming back strongly. Maybe sensing he didn't have much to lose, but this has been a classy break to win it. Seventy-nine. Can he finish with the second century of the day? All the pressure now lifting, of course. And these are just enjoyable moments. Yeah, and bar that mini little hiccup from 5-1, things looked a million dollars again today. It's been an absolute pleasure watching him play. And I'm very much looking forward to watching him perform at the Barbican, whoever he draws. It's been a lovely finish from Ding. And fair play to Robbie William. He's had a great tournament again. He's playing some fantastic stuff this season. And make no mistake, he'll be back. Brilliant stuff, this. After the little bit of pressure that was put on him, he's responded like the great players do. And the good news for snooker fans everywhere is that Ding Jun Wee will be in the draw. The first qualifier, the first name in that particular bag for the draw. We will hear from him in a few minutes' time. And, of course, we will see him next week in York. And if you're a top 16 player, you do not want to see him being drawn against you, clearly. Second century of the day from Ding to finish. He's the first qualifier for this year's UK Championship.